So I recently played through the demo for Stellar Blade, and to be honest, I was already pretty excited and interested into the game before this demo had gotten released because it showed up at the Game Awards with a gameplay trailer and I thought it looked pretty cool or interesting enough to check out. The demo came out, recently played it, super enjoyed it, right? Thought it was super enjoyable, the combat is super stylish and super fun, the bosses seem like they're pretty challenging, and I imagine the game's gonna have a harder difficulty than just normal mode, and I'm interested in playing the game on that difficulty level, and just have a fun time playing this interesting looking game, because I had a really fun time. Unfortunately, the thing that really sticks out in my mind for this game, other than just anticipating the release date on the 26th, is the fact that this game is centered around a controversy that just doesn't make any fucking sense at all and is super annoying. So all of it has to do with this whole thing with the main character Eve and the fact that she's designed the way that she is and she's designed to be very attractive and as some of you may already know, western gaming fans find that very annoying for some odd reason. They have a huge problem with their characters looking attractive for some odd reason and I guess just western gaming developers have also just been getting into the habit of making their characters I guess quote unquote look ugly even though I think there are certain instances where they're not really ugly. Like Mary Jane is one of the characters that comes to my mind when I think about that stuff uh, mainly because of the fact that she's a character that went through such a significant character change from the first Spider-Man game to the sequel and whilst I don't think Mary Jane looks ugly in the sequel she does look significantly different than what she looked like in the previous game and also how the fact that she looks so significantly different from the model actor scan that they had used for the character of Mary Jane and one of the other biggest infamous examples is the character that we saw in the trailer for Fable a while ago. I think a couple, I think like a year and a half ago or something. I don't even remember when that trailer came out. But a while ago we had gotten a trailer for Fable and the main like female character that was in that trailer was based off of a real model in real life and she just looks so significantly different from the game version of herself in comparison to what she looks like in real life. And basically this whole situation with Stellar Blade has boiled down to the character Eve and the way that she looks. I've seen some tweets, uh, shout out to Hirohei for uh, some of the screenshots revolving around this particular sequence of the fact that Eve apparently looks like, like a little child, even though if you look at Eve, she's very clearly not. And something that's also very weird is the fact that the, not the face, because they've already explained that the face for Eve is not based off of a, of a model or like an actress, but the body itself is off, is based off of an actual, in real life, Korean model who you're gonna see some screenshots or uh, some pictures on screen and that's who the character is based off of. It's based off of an actual real life person. But recently this article got published by IGN France and they basically say something along the lines of the fact that the protagonist Eve is designed as a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. If you go and you look at the article now it has since been changed to uh, the line in particular a doll sexualized by someone you would think has never seen a woman before or or has never seen a woman. Basically the same thing, but trying not to, not to sound like as harsh. But then you do just a little bit of research and then you realize that the director for the game is actually married to a concept artist who is actually working on the game. So not only does he obviously know what a woman looks like because not only is he married to the concept artist, but the concept artist is working on the game. So obviously she probably had a hand in how the character was supposed to look like and how the character was intended to look like. This situation has just been like coming down as of recent. I saw the article, saw people talking about it. And apparently people have been talking about this for like a couple of months now, but only recently because of this demo have people really been talking about Stellar Blade. And yeah, it overall has to do because of the fact that the main character Eve is definitely very attractive. She has a very sexy character design and that's definitely by intention, but the overall consensus uh, from a lot of people are, are, two, are completely two different things, which is, she looks really good in the game, has a very interesting art style, and the characters look great, or that the characters are overly sexualized. And just a whole bunch of other dumbass things that just don't really make any, uh, much sense. And that's ultimately what I'm concluding with, is that people are getting mad over something that ultimately just doesn't really matter. People are allowed to draw their characters however way they want. If they want to make their characters sexy, if they want to make their characters hot, if they want to make them look attractive, they're totally allowed to do that because ultimately it is their game. They're the ones who are making the game and there's really no reason to get mad about it. But I guess they just think that the overall consensus of 
Eve's character design is that it's too unrealistic, even though it's based off of an actual real actress. So I don't really understand what the big problem is, especially considering the fact that the character just doesn't even exist. Their overall consensus as to why they're mad is that it's too overly sexualized. But you want to know something that's too overly sexualized that involves the female body? Women doing OnlyFans, but you don't see people getting mad about that. In fact, you'll overly see them praising women who do OnlyFans and see that as something that's empowering for women, even though it's just, it's using their bodies to make a quick buck. And I'm not dissing them, you know, they're, they're using their body to their advantage. If I could do the same thing, I would 100% do the same thing. But it's so overly hypocritical how they see something as women doing OnlyFans as empowerment, but then they see a character in a video game being based off of a real woman as overly sexualized. I, I just don't really understand it. I don't understand why people are mad about this. Ultimately, it just doesn't matter. If you don't want to play the game, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and check out the full game when it releases on the 26th because it just looks like a lot of fun. I'm watching the trailers. I'm watching people play the game. I played the demo. I kind of want to play through the demo again because of just how much fun they had. So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to go do. If you don't want to play the game, if you don't think it looks fun, if you don't if you find any problem with it, that's perfectly fine. But you shouldn't try to drag down the game or say that the game sucks because of these like issues that you have with it when they're like such minor things that they ultimately just don't really matter. I just, I don't understand. Why is this the thing that you want to pick apart with the game? Especially considering the fact that people are trying to, like, use examples like Bayonetta and 2B. Especially in the IGN article. They bring up characters like Bayonetta and 2B and how, like, oh, Bayonetta has a very iconic character design. And 2B from Nier Automata uh, inspired an entire generation of cosplayers. So it's like, would this French editor or reviewer think that Eve uh, from Stellar Blade is a good character design? if people started cosplaying as her? Like, is that suddenly, like, okay? Is that suddenly allowed? Like, I just... I don't understand. I don't understand a lot of the criticism. I don't understand a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of what people are saying. It's very dumb. It's very idiotic. I don't understand why people are so mad about this. But ultimately, I'm going to check out the game when it fully launches. I'm going to play the game and enjoy it for what it's worth. And, uh... Yeah. If you don't want to... If you don't want to try it out, if you don't care, then that's perfectly fine. But don't try to say something about me because I just so happen to want to play the game. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say about the situation. It's really dumb. I'm going to move past this and just ignore it and just get excited for when the game eventually launches. Because I'm super excited for it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Be sure to turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop that